Hi. Um, as you guys now know, Logan and I have decided to go our separate ways. I just ate, so I'm gurgling. Um, we thought we would make this last video together just to kind of fill you guys in and to say thank you for all your support. Um, we've got a lot of really sweet comments, people being really nice, people being heartbroken, wishing us well in our future and asking how, how we get along, yada, yada, yada. Let's clear up. First of all, there was no cheating involved. Um, don't look at me. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Um, there was no cheating involved. It was a mutual thing. Um, not an easy thing, not a thing that we enjoy but it it had to be a mutual thing and i'd say probably the real trouble would have started as early as what was it october last year november yeah i think october november last year is when it was kind of like on the final stretch and no we never told anybody about it because we're being watched all the time so we've got to put up this front like everything's fine everything's fine and it really sucked it kind of really took its toll on us um you can you can talk about how you feel about the situation a little bit because uh, people are going to want to know how you're handling it what you think did i cheat on you yeah. was cheating in any way anything to do with this no it was just fucking just pressure from either an outside source or money because i mean what i lost my job in between quite a few times yeah just lack of steady employment and just stress from outside sources and inside you know between me you and Dorian as well mm. and it just <clears throat> it just took us toll just the constant strain and the constant bullying as well I mean, we hate to say it because that means that they won in the end, but I mean, the lol cow shit, the kiwi farm shit, whatever, them just constantly like, you know, he didn't lie in any of the videos. You didn't lie in any of your videos, did you? Yeah. Like when you defended me, but he's not the kind of person that likes to get on and have to justify every move he makes, you know, and it, it took its toll on him. Like, you know, we'd agree. I never forced him to make a video for me. Sometimes I'd ask, other times he was like, I'm going to, you know, I think there was once or twice where it was really bad that you offered just to speak out and say something, and so did Dorian. But it was always looked at like, I forced, I forced. And then it was like, be careful what you say, be careful how you say it, be careful um, the look on your face. And I mean, those the smallest little things. And that, he fucking hated that. That got old so fucking fast for him. And... You know, I just have to justify everything that I do. It's fucking annoying. Because he's of the mindset, who cares? Let's live our life. I don't have to justify it. But because I'm in the public eye, it's opposite for me. I have to justify it because I've got people watching my every move, whether it be fans or friends or or haters. I, I've got to... I've got to have shit kind of clear cut because so many people watch my life. It's and... also just frustrating because <clears throat> I'm the kind of person that deals with shit, you know, like head on fucking in person and just having these fucking chicken shit thick skin motherfuckers just hiding behind their screen. It's just, it's so frustrating because I, I deal with shit in person, you know, I don't like having to fucking go out of my way to do shit because some fucking fucktard behind his screen has a fucking hair up his ass. I'd rather deal with it in person too. You know, you're talking to the chick that bit a fucking chunk out of somebody's face. You know, I like dealing with it in person, but when they hide, there's nothing you could do about it. And it's frustrating for me too, but getting it's off. It's just like when you get a, it's just the equivalent of fucking having a fly that you can't swallow. Yeah. Yeah. And you feel impotent because you can't do anything about it. And unfortunately we're so different with the way we handle things and think about things that we really had no chance once that became the forefront of our relationship. Um, we do still love each other. We do still care about each other. We are still going to be on good terms. We're, we're doing good. We're friendly. Um, I'm trying to move to the States 
estimated about three months. I need to raise about a thousand dollars US for my ticket. Um, so he's going to stay, we're going to stay living together until that time. I do have a boyfriend. He knows about him. You know about Josh. Mm -hmm. He has said it's what I need to do. He supports us. You can say that in your own words because that's a big one because I've already been called a cheating whore. So can you clear that up? <clears throat> well, it's what she needs to do. That's what it is, you know. I might have gotten flack for being young or whatever, but, you know, I'm looking at this like an adult and trying to be responsible about it. And if that's what she needs to do, then that's what she needs to do. And that's it. You know, I know you didn't cheat on me. And he wants me to be happy. He wants me to be with someone that could be the kind of person I need in my life. And he's, he's supportive. And this is the time when it means the most because I really need it because I'm about to uproot my whole life and move to the States. I don't have my family anymore. I don't have anything. All I've got is is Josh to move to. Uh, it's either be between him or a friend of mine. And so, you know, um, I, I'm trying to make the right choice and to be smart about stuff. And I mean, you can stop with the pedophile jokes now because he's actually older. He's 30 about to be 31 um i know it's still 10 years younger than me but he's not a fucking baby he's not a kid he's a man and he can fucking do right by me he can treat me right and he's already been there for me he's already stuck up against fucking local fucks and people trying to talk shit he's already defended me online he's he's there on my profiles sticking up for me and supporting me and he's got my back through everything i've introduced him to my fucking my, my fans on my page and shit. I just hadn't made this video talking about it. And people do think you got into a relationship the day you got out of a relationship. And that's not the case either. I never mentioned a timeline. How long I've known him. How long I've been with him. How long we've had problems or been split up or whatever. Um, there are things that I don't want to talk about. I don't want to have to sit here and, and calculate. Well, on this day this happened and then on this day that happened you guys don't need to know those little details you can assume all you want um if i had cheated on him his ass would not be sitting here in this house right now he wouldn't be here as far as i know i wouldn't be here yeah he wouldn't be wanting to help me out or stay on to help me out he would just be like you fucking cheating whore and he'd be gone there's nothing keeping him here because he's got his family there's nothing keeping him in this household Except for the fact that he wants to still be here for me, which I, I greatly appreciate. And um, I'm pretty sure that about clears up everything that has happened. Not together. Mutual decision. Neither of us dumped the other one. We talked about it. Decided. Uh, I didn't jump online and guess what just happened? The second it happened, we, we're still dealing with it because we still care about each other. We just know marriage wise it's just not working it hasn't working we're trying to make the right decision for us both i could be with somebody that is more suited to me he could be with someone that's more suited to him and he could finally move on and get away from having his every move watched everything that he does well they probably still will they might still watch but you don't care and whoever you end up with they might not care you you'd have a real life you don't even go online anyway <clears throat> so you're not an online person so whatever they watched and said you wouldn't care about i'm an online person but when i go with josh i want to have a real life i've already told him that i want to be offline as much as possible i'll do updates i'll do you know check-ins and stuff like that especially at first but then i'm gonna start weaning myself offline because it's time for me to get away from that and i am not gonna have fucking bullies destroy another relationship you know i've got to protect myself and protect my life and protect him as much as possible from having this happen because we should have been together forever this should have worked we had every intention of staying together you know i mean if shit hadn't gotten in the way we we wouldn't be splitting up it's just shit's just gradually gotten so far out of hand it's it's there's no going back and a lot of people are sad. We're sad. You know, I mean, we're not happy about it. This isn't the way it was supposed to be. Nope. But he can finally just live his life without being picked on. Oh, he's a baby. He's young. He's almost 22, but he doesn't know what he wants with his life, which is bullshit. 
or you're a deadbeat and you, you know, you work your fucking ass off, but yet you're still called a deadbeat and fucking, oh, you've gained weight. And it's just like petty, stupid shit. Oh, you wear a wig, <laughs> you know, like just looking for shit. And I, I don't like that. I don't think it's fair. And then the moment you, you know, you won't leave me. So instead of compliments, it turned into all these insults about you. Like, oh, well, he's, he, he won't leave her. So he's fucking stupid. You know, he's fucking retarded. He's a, he's a dumb kid. Oh, he probably just wants to fuck her. It's just, it's just a hole for him. And you know what I mean? It's just like, just because things don't go your way, doesn't mean you need to continue to tear him apart in different ways. Trying to say that he doesn't know what he wants. That's an insult because he's smart enough to know what he wants. And we've been saying that if he wanted to leave, he would leave and he didn't want to leave, but now he wants to leave. And you know, it, it is, it is really hard to wrap your head around the fact that your marriage is over and you're going to go two separate ways. And so we deserve respect and a bit of space on this, which is why we're making this just to kind of get the questions out there. So people aren't writing me saying what happened, what happened? And especially Raven cheated on Logan, that fucking whore. Because that did not fucking happen. If it did happen, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of my husband saying, I have a boyfriend with my husband's blessing and I'm going to fucking move, you know, with this other guy. I'd be hiding it. I damn sure wouldn't be out with it because even if he doesn't get online, his family's online. There's a lot of people that are online and you don't do that if you're cheating. I'm not cheating. And, um, it is what it is and there's nothing else to really say about it. But we just wanted to say thank you to the cool people and thank you for your concern and your comments. And some of you are really sad about it. Like, just like, no, because we were supposed to be, we were supposed to be the couple that lasted. We were like the fairy tale couple that fucking withstood everything. But I guess some things are just too much. And I guess a piece of advice from us would be that if there's something that's causing trouble if you don't think you can handle it, you should probably get out really quick. Don't really, because we've been together almost six years and um, five and a half years. And we thought we were strong, but, but we knew, like, he knew he didn't really want to deal with the drama. And we just kind of tried and it got to this point and it ended anyway. So either you've got to be superhuman strong or you've got to just get out while you can because it will eventually eat at you and it will eventually tear you apart whether you love each other to death or not. Sometimes love isn't enough. And that really sucks to say. No. But I never thought I would say that. I thought, you know, well, fuck, if you have love, that's all you fucking need. You can get through anything together. If you love each other, you keep trying, but it's just not enough sometimes. And when you've got so many people on you just tearing everything apart, sometimes you just can't, you can't do it anymore. And, um... I think that Logan deserves to be happy. Finally, he spent his whole adult, uh, early teenage, early adult, mid teenage, early adult years with me having to live like this. And he never really got to enjoy being young because it's like, oh, I've got to take care of her feelings because she's been picked on. Oh, she, you should ready to kill herself. And, and then the time you had to call the cops on me because I was like, I'm going to fucking kill myself. And then he took me to the hospital and it's just, all the depression and all the stress and all the drama. I mean, and it's just not the way. Just gets all real quick. Just, yeah, it's not the way a relationship should be or should have had to be. We were never allowed to just be together and just have our relationship. Not even from from the start because of the cops came and took him away. Family got involved. Local people here got involved. Death threats. Having to fucking move. Trying to help people. Getting fucked over. And around all of it were the hate sites. So we never really had a chance. I mean, we, we gave it a good run. I think we did pretty good. We we stuck it out for quite some time, I think. Mm -hmm. And, um... It's just like you keep etching in the same spot eventually. It blades and everything goes to shit. Yeah. So, you know, um... It's in your turn. <laughs> Well, you patted me, so I patted you. We're going to stay friends as well when when we split. Uh, we're going to... I'm. He's going to take care of my stuff for me because I can't obviously bring it with me. And um, we're just going to keep in contact. And 
support each other through whatever new relationships we have and our life path or whatever we do. So, I mean, we do plan on keeping in touch and staying friends. I mean, we've been through a lot together and then, you know, we lost our babies and stuff and, you know, we've had a lot of losses and a lot of, a lot of shit together. Um, you know, it's just weird. Like, it's just so final. Um, yeah. never thought we'd be in this position because I just remember fighting and fighting. I'm not going to let this end. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to, we're not going to let them get to us. And we fucking tried. We did. Just kind of unexpected, I guess. Um, and then to have to talk about it in front of everybody is just kind of like, whoa, what the fuck? So we thought we owed you guys this because there's so many people out there that consider us like family or like they care about us and what happens. And this is for those of you who care and who are, emotionally invested in our relationship and who held hope that we'd make it to the end i guess um just wanted to say goodbye for you guys and an explanation say goodbye to each other i guess mm -hmm. and um i guess take care of yourselves and don't let this happen to you and thank you again and i don't know do you have anything to say you all right? Yeah. So give each other a bye bye hug. One of your arms is really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So that's it. And that's, that's the end of Raven and Mogan. Mm. Yep. So I'll catch up at some point. Um. Not gonna really want to release videos for a while, so be understanding. I'm about, I'm, I'm not far from the 5,535 subscriber thing. When it hits that number, I will still do what I said. We will draw a number, uh, a name out of a hat or something and do the drawing. Depending on what it is that's asked for, will depend on how fast I can fulfill it. Because right now, obviously, that's not at the top of my list. This kind of has all been like a whirlwind. Um, but I will get around to it. And um, But until then, and, and shortly after, I've got a lot on my plate trying to organize moving and my stuff and coping with everything and a new relationship and fielding off the you're a dirty whore comments and... Um, uh, I'll be around. I'll read your comments. I'll accept them and stuff. But as far as posting new videos, I'm not really in a video posting kind of mood. And uh, just wait and there'll be updates when I'm leaving and stuff. So uh, there'll be some exciting stuff coming up. And I'm going to really need YouTube and shit to distract me for a while. So there's that. Yeah. So Logan can say bye-bye for the last time. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go drink something because I'm thirsty anyway. You done? Yeah.